Good evening, everybody. Tonight we're reading 2 Corinthians chapter 2 and in Proverbs chapter 16. Showing 2 Corinthians 2, I like one of the parts in that chapter. It was like whoever was talking, he was saying, like, Paul. Yeah, he was saying, like, forgive, forgive the people. And, you know, forgiveness can take you a long way. Forgiveness can be the difference of you landing yourself in prison yes. for 20 years Come on. and constantly like regretting your decision yes. or being the reason why you or, or forgiveness it can be the reason why you form uh, lifelong relationships and friendships um, and making sure that you enjoy your life and not holding grudges and and you know just, just like that you know and uh, yeah nothing is solved from holding a grudge or nothing is solved from retaliating from things That's right. I was asking my buddy this uh, earlier today, mm -hmm. I was like, "Like, what would you do if somebody, like, if somebody like, like vandalized your house or something like that, or something like that?" And you saw them doing it, and I was like, "Would you like run outside and just like fight them, whatever?" And he's like, "Yeah, yeah." And then I was like, "But like, say, like, think about the worst case scenario. Say that person gets gets his people to yep. hurt your people, or whatever, yep. and then you put your parents at danger, your mom yep. at danger." Yep. And he's like, oh, "I didn't think about that." So I was like, "It's better to just like forgive and just like." Try to like, if you can, try to help the person because it's clearly something's not right with them. Yeah. Uh, whoever's trying to, you know, have, that's what I was trying to say. That's powerful, Timotheus, because that is such the ingredient that is needed for your generation, for this generation, for this present time grace and forgiveness and kindness. Community. And community. <laughs> and Within the word community is unity. Race. I mean, unity, yes. Right. Yeah. Unity among the races, across the races, across Democrat, you know, politicians, Republic, all that, especially leading up to the last, uh, I, we might be in the teens now, toward the election. So, yeah, 20 something days. And this is very important, what you were talking about, forgiveness. It says in verse 7 of chapter 2, Corinthians. So that contrary wise, ye ought, Father, rather to forgive, but even go another step beyond forgiveness. It says, comfort them. Woo! So, all right, they apologize, you accept it, but now you're like, okay, it's fine. To, to comfort? Yeah. And we could do that because... We are of the Lord. Remember the chapter before this says that God is the God of all comfort and the Father of all mercies who comforts us. And then we are to spread it to others. So right here, for the ones, our enemies, who does, who, who, who's doing some crazy stuff, comfort them, lest perhaps such a one should be swallowed up with over much sorrow, with so much guilt. And then, wherefore, I beseech you that ye should confirm them. So after you forgive, after you comfort, now confirm them. Ooh, confirm your love toward them. So that is really something. And we do all this because we don't want Satan to get the glory. Because in verse 11, it says, lest Satan should get an advantage of us. Because we're bitter, because we're angry. And how many times, like I said, I was just telling him about the shooting in Menards that I found out. Uh, Menards, we would go to all the time over the summer. We would be riding top down, you know, just chilling out. And two people have lost their lives because of some craziness. And this is multiplied by 100 over and over. We need to do some forgiveness. We need to do some comforting. We need to do some confirming of one another across races, across lines, whew, for such a time as this. <sighs> Proverbs 16, in verse 20, he or she that handleth a matter wisely shall find good. So just like what you were saying about not retaliating, shutting it down before it blows up because it's not worth it. And, and before you know it, we're going to decrease our race because there's no end to it. Come on, people, let's wake up. And that's for in a microcosmic level as far as families to neighborhoods, to communities, to cities, to countries.
to around the world. Anything else, son? Thank you. Let's have a good evening. Just enjoying the unity of the Lord, the compassion that he gives, and he wants us to spread it to others. Good night.